Can't wait to be disappointed. <laughs> no, I just, I suspect there's not actually going to be a lot that catches me, to be honest. Um, I do want to play the new Astro Bot game. I'm hoping I'll get that for Christmas. Helldivers? Oh, I guess there's some kind of update for it. I, I, I hope that they're going to continue forward with Astro Bot and, like, make it more of a mascot. Like, it has been and is. But I feel like with the recent Astro Bot game, like, it, this is the most hype Astro Bot, the franchise, the IP, has, has ever had. And I just kind of hope they continue on with that. And not just, like, take it for granted, so to speak, and just... Ten new bots. Oh, Stellar Blades! Stellar Blades getting sued at the moment. <laughs> That's cool. Helldivers, I never played it. Don't really care. But <laughs> I like that Stellar Blades there. Damn, I really gotta get this game. Free add on, Fall 24. Definitely have to get this for Christmas. Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Dusset, the studio head at Team Asobi. We couldn't be happier with the reception to Astrobot and to see how much joy Astro is bringing to homes all around the world. On behalf of Team Asobi, thank you so much. Now, we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at the DLC we'll release later this year at no additional cost. We'll have nice. more to share soon. But for now, let's enjoy oh, that's cute. the state of play. Listen to me, burnt one. If you aren't doing it a walk, the midnight walk, you better be sure to keep your spark safe and burning. While I was in the black, I had a dream. Oh, I like how it's animated. Is it actually claymation though, or is it just like emulating claymation? It's still pretty cool regardless, but if it's true claymation, I'd be even more impressed. Thank you. PlayStation and PSVR 2. So is it? And so it was. That the burnt one VR two game, or is it both? Took a wander down the midnight walk. Looks really cool. I like it. I like it. Wish this now. PS five. I, I, I don't know. Can somebody tell me? Is it a VR two exclusive, or is it both formats? Let's go fuck here. Father told us Ooh. to hide when they came to our house. Then, then they took him away. Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. Everyone had fled. Am oh, she Christ? The country was sick, but we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They live inside our heads. Yo, this looks kind of sweet. An action RPG. What the hell? I can see it. People are going to compare this to Death Stranding. Yo, this looks kind of sick. I spoke too soon when I, when I said I was going to be disappointed. Damn. It's just called hell. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hell is what here? Hell is us.
Hell is us, damn. Okay, I wouldn't just keep my eye on for sure. Yes, fine. I'll have to. Yeah, that looks really interesting, actually. I do like a good action RPG. My story is a tale of rules rewritten by nuclear fire. Oh, hey, Oh, VR game. Have you seen wow, I'm actually surprised, like, how far they're going with VR 2. They're, like, really pushing, um, a lot of really high quality VR 2 games, aren't they? Just let Yana be alright. What is that? In a way, I'm kind of glad though, because I don't own a VR too, and I, I do love VR gaming. Did you not hear any of that? Yana, is that you? The one, the one, the one. I'm seeing things, hearing things. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes we need to become the thing we fear to prevent something worse. Is it? Oh, it is a Metro game. Is it gonna make me get a VR two though? I'm not really a Metro fan, but it looked like a decent game, especially in VR. So, how does it feel to learn the truth about the night sky tragedy? Long is this another ago, Witcher? You humans slaughtered each other. Until the whole world lay in ruins. Definitely not Witcher. And yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. It must be the will of your beloved. Oh, it's an MMO, goddess. I think. However, I still have no trust in your kind. Yo. Combat looks fun. What is it though? Like online multiplayer? Yeah. Is it? Prove yourself. If you survive this trial. Pretty damn cool. Arcade Chronicles. You might become one of us. I do like dark fantasy action RPG. Wishlist 2025. Interesting. I have to keep my eye on that one as well. Very exciting. Oh, Pal Worlds, the another game that's getting sued right now. Is it the full release? I played it when it was, what was it, Early Access, I think. It was actually a lot of fun. Christ, look at him. <laughs> the frog guy, I don't recognise him. Out today, wow. Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's launching today on the PlayStation 5 console. We have a few more games with breaking news today, starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Your dreams, magical thoughts, I recognize it. Are real I wonder if my wife would. In your dreams, love is the plot carried on wings of hope. Lunar Remastered Collection Ooh. brings together Lunar, the Silver Star yeah, story sprites are really nice. and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue complete with updated visuals, widescreen mode, and more. Instantly we see it, the times are growing, be it 
when everything is no, I don't recognize these at all. Never seen them. Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in spring 2025. Two updates on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I saw the trailer for this earlier today. First, I was kind of keen to re-download it. DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko and Mona Lisa as playable characters. And for Mona no extra Lisa. cost, a remixed in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. Both of these updates arrive later today. I'm surprised this game's still getting updates. I really am. Oh, Sonic. What? I've taken on another form? What? And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack. This update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. It arrives <laughs> December 12th. The Sonic no the Hedgehog way. 3 movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th release date. I'm pretty sure I have that. I'll have to double check. That's mad. <laughs> His voice just suddenly much deeper. Hello, State of Play. I'm Sakaguchi, producer of Fantasia Neo Dimension. These look familiar, but I, I never played them. You can tell I don't play a lot of RPG games. I like them, I just... I like action RPGs more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're cool enemy design though. Action RPGs, action games. Just really fast games, I like a lot. We're just over a month away from the release of Dragon Age the Veilguard. I've Let's never played a Dragon and Electronic Age. Arts for an extended look at a climactic battle. We've gotten word from the Wardens. Have they found Gilanade? Not yet, but they found something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. Rook, you made it. Good. Wouldn't miss it. We have unfinished business with that dragon. We've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. So we what challenge the her. hell? Draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. Just you and me now. Everyone, get ready. Wardens, ready ballistics. Wait for it. I hope the dragon kicks their ass, to be honest. <laughs> It's it, it feels so like Come melodramatic. On. Go on, get him. Hit the wings. Did that Forces fire do anything? Second detachment. Flank on the walls. Let go. The ice talon. Action RPG though. But it looks a bit too generic or vanilla. Vanilla ice. No, but um it, it doesn't look all that great to me. It looks quite bland, that's that's the word, yeah. Like it, the the boss just looks like what the hell? Oh, like combo magic. That's cool. Mm 
He just looks a bit like a bullet sponge, you know. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Oh, you can just like issue commands to them. Okay. Hell yeah, dragon. Mess him up. Press the attack! Bring that first one down! Yo, what? Bone? Who's this fella? Gilanane. Some kind of necromancer or something. Yeah, I think at this point you should retreat. Two dragons and some kind of necromancer. Your battle is already lost. It's not like that's a you know what you're going back from that one. <laughs> this isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. Oh, is this, uh, Alan, Alan not so sleepy? Facility. The lake house. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I want to just. Oh, is it control two? Me. I tried control one, but I just couldn't. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't give a shit about what was going on. The whole time it was just people in chat being like, ooh, and and this and this secret bit, DG, and and oh and that bit's an SCP and the whole building's an SCP. Mm. And I'm like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> You're ruining my fun. Oh, Alan Wait too, it's more content. The lake house. Alright, cool. Well, I've never played an Alan Wake and I'm not going to. I watched someone play it and the whole time he's like narrating himself or something and it was the most annoying like voiceover. It was like that scene in in Family Guy when Peter Griffin's narrating Lois and he's like, and she walked closer towards me and placed my bowl of porridge on the table. She looked slightly annoyed. It's just like that with like the whole time. Was, how do people endure this? It's so fucking annoying to listen to. <laughs> Another VR2 game. This is a Hitman, I think. Intuitive gestures. Can you flip people off? Wash your hands in VR. Watch people vomit in VR. Poison people. <laughs> Honestly, it looks all right though. Oh, that was clever. You blocked it with a frying pan. No way. Yo, that kind of looks hype. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn, maybe I need a VR too. Holy shit. <laughs> You know the truth. Yes! I stood with Cain and Oh, fuck yes. Until I, I used to watch my older brother play these games growing up, and I barely understood what was going on, but it was so fucking cool. Yes, Soul Reaver. Agony. And they got the original voice actor too? Fuck yes. The fate of this world was preordained. Oh, yes. I remember you. Oh, he gross. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. I bet there's so many people. Th this game is going to be like very 
there's going to be... Everybody watching this is either going to be like, yo, this is so sick. Or the other half is like, this looks like shit. <laughs> there's going to be nobody like in between. You've got the nostalgia for it, or you're just like, what the fuck is this garden variety bollocks? <laughs> December 10th, pre-order now, yo. Consider Legacy me King fucking Soul done. Leader 1 and 2 Remastered arrives December 10th. Yes. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. 25th anniversary? God, I'm old. Are you sure we can't just do the same Games thing? from the original PlayStation no. era also inspired cool. Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It go? brings atmospheric polygonal scares to PS5. I think we've seen the trailer for this. Yeah, we've seen the trailer for this before, yeah. It looks alright. Just go home, Viv. I'm happy here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. October 22nd. So, Definitely have to get that as well. To our ancestral land, a gas bomb. Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Is this by the this Ooh, underwater exploration? Creatures, a peculiar cast of characters. Oh, what the hell is that? And also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. Wow, I'm impressed with the multiplayer part of it. Towers of My wife might enjoy that one. Really access this November. Wait, do we uh, get yes. early access Epic on PlayStation? A split screen mode to Lego Fortnite this October. Oh this god, yeah, I forgot Lego Fortnite's a thing. the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. Oh, cool. That's cute. That's Fortnite good for families games. and stuff. The yeah. The new Fortnite limited edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year. With Couldn't give a damn about the controller. Here. I'll be honest. I'm just gonna hydrate it real quick. Visit PlayStation blog for more details. Next, it's one versus one thousand in Dynasty Warriors Origins. And oh, games I like these the Mushu game. games, Let's but I get really look. bored of them quickly. Guardian of Peace, you have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Give me a remake of Demon Kings on PS2. To the chaos and find a it was called Demon survive. Kings. So choose your path wisely. Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. Looks cool, riding on the horse in rain, but in the rain. You claim to strive for justice, but have no way to achieve it. Tearing down the system without providing an alternative is mere wanton destruction. Oh, that looks sweet. I'm definitely not going to buy this, but it looks a lot better than any of the Mushu games I've played. Although saying that, I think the Hyrule Warriors was really good. Hyrule Warriors 1 in particular. Oh, and the Berserk one was pretty good, yeah. I think the problem is I just kind of get bored of beating on just armies of monotonous enemies. Like it's fun up to a point and then I just kind of get a bit... Eh. I was still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. This is Monster Hunter, isn't it? Yeah. Into my mind. Can't wait for this. Guaranteed pre-order. Play oh, with my Captain? wife. Day one. What's your team been getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. Oh, this forest is amazing. My oh, oh, the rain. Oh, oh my god. That's causing the water currents to surge too. Is that the area from the first game? Whoa! This is territory. What the, the hell is that? That's wicked! That looks so cool. Oh my god, I hate it. It swims in the water. 
That actually kind of low-key scares me. Because of my phobia. God, this game is going to be incredible. Yeah, fishing. Except I, was, I thought something big was going to come out then. Holy crap. The spider looks... You could throw bombs now? You can pull stuff with your hook. That's awesome. What? Are these little tribe people? Yeah, let's go! Feline power. Some kind of map. Whoa, okay. It looks kind of like a cockatrice to me. I'm okay with... Oh, is this a new beastie? What? Wait, is that the main character talking? There. Someone's in trouble. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An extinct species. You're a hunter. You've got a weapon and you do nothing. No, <laughs> this is gonna be so good. <laughs> Can't wait for that one. Holy cow. White Wraith. What is that thing? February 28th. Holy cow. We got a release date. Reorder today. Consider it done. Guild Knight set. Yo. Hope Charm Talisman. Digital art mini book. Yeah. Save data bonus from World and Iceborne to get some armor sets. Naturally. Oh, wait, it's going to be so good. Oh, プレイステーションストアでご予約いただいた方限定の特典としてプレイステーション September 26th at 3pm BST in two days time. Chompers. Okay, trail spots aren't cheap, so let's get started. A hunter with a mysterious past and her uh, very heroic friends. I don't give it. Uh, this this looks really good. A Lego, like the Lego games have come a long way, and I'm really happy about that. But I just don't give a toss about like about Horizon Zero Dawn. There's more. With the digital deluxe edition, you get this exciting blue roller thing. That snazzy costumes like the Shadow Stolborn outfit. And this. Those are cute. I like those. That or that. Nice. But look how much fun they're having. Come and join the party at Mother's Heart. <laughs> Phew, got it all in. No, you didn't. Oh, I forgot to mention the pre-order. <laughs> Cute. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Zatani. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on LEGO Horizon Adventures when it launches on November 14th. And Aloy has more good news on the horizon. I think it's pronounced Alloy. Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero Dawn, is being remastered for PS5 and PC by Gorilla and Nixes. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered includes more than 10 hours of re-recorded conversation mocap. Oh, and that's cool. And improvements that bring the game to the same visual fidelity as Horizon Forbidden West. Well, that's very cool. I'm actually impressed about the amount of effort they, they've put into that. Instead of it just being like, you know, a minor update. 
I feel like there's been a bit of a trend lately of like of Zero Dawn will arrive putting more effort into remasters and, and remakes, etc. And uh, of the game will be able I to really like it. PS5 version for $9 oh, you can just get the upgrade pack if you already own the game. That's even better. That's actually really device. cool. New content is on the action packed world of Stellar Blade. A new photo mode lets players set up the perfect picture with your choice of poses, expressions, and filters. You never use photo modes. I do like that outfit on the right. I don't have that one. Holy shit. And Stellar Blade's original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs from the game is wow. available on select streaming services starting today. It was a really good soundtrack. What banger game. But that's not all. No way. That's cool. Sci-fi worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. That's very cool. Don't think I'll do a full playthrough for it, but that, oh, that's actually now really exciting. Now ahead for PlayStation Plus. First, your monthly games for October are WWE 2K24, Dead yeah. Space, and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Oh, I love Doki Doki. All PlayStation Plus members starting I've never October. actually played the new Dead Space, so that, that could be something that we Meanwhile, do in October. Our of PlayStation Classics continues to grow, with two more fan favorites from the original PlayStation arriving later this year. Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain, and Capcom's Dino Crisis. I know Crisis. Come on, don't tease us. Dog fans know <laughs> September 26th is the Last of Us Day, and we're celebrating by adding the critically is acclaimed it? I've never played the Last, the of, Last of, Us. of Us Part One to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Thursday. I didn't know there was a Last of Us Day. God. Is this the PlayStation 5 Pro? No, it's just a new pad. <laughs> That's almost like my controller. I've got a blue and purple controller. One that's just pure white. <laughs> I do like that, like, chromatic purple. Oh, so we're getting the systems in the new colors as well. Roma collection. Indigo Pearl Tail. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Cerny. We recently revealed the Architect. newest addition to the PS5. What does that even mean? PS5 Pro. Alongside several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console makes possible. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements. An upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling that combine to bring developers closer to realizing their unique vision. We're excited for players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 Pro when it launches this November. But in the meantime, here's a look at some of the games that are being enhanced for the new console, including a few titles that we're revealing for the very first time today. I'm not going to upgrade. <laughs> I I got my PS5 day one during lockdown, and it was actually the first PS5 in the store as well. I waited two hours and 20 minutes outside of the store, um, sat on a plastic bag in the rain. I'm quite happy with my PS5. I, uh, I don't really see any need to upgrade. Human souls, though. I remember to this day, like, when we first played Demon Souls on PS5, the first two hours of the game was us just walking around, like, me and chat, just gawking over the detail on the, like, the rocks and stuff. It was so good. <laughs> Such a pretty game. But I have, uh, 
absolutely no desire to upgrade. Especially with the stand and the disc tray being sold separately, which is in madness. <laughs> Is it Ghost of Tsushima? Are beyond the edge of Japan. People come north to disappear. I never finished Ghost of Tsushima. But you. My first playthrough is the highest difficulty, you and it was so hard. Holy crap. It's not ghosts, Every is it? Drone in here is after you. Still think you're the hunter. It's not a new tenchu, is it? I mean, cool, but. I don't know what to take away from this. <laughs> All right then. I'll be honest, I don't know who Sucker Punch are. I think they did go to Tsushima, right? Is this the sequel? It's very pretty. You have a wolf sidekick, is that it? I bet you do. I bet you've got a wolf sidekick. Pretty badass, to be honest. Ghost of Yote. Oh, so it's like Tsushima 2, not 2. Oh, I'll have to keep my eye on that one. I, I, Ghost of Tsushima 1 was like pretty cool but it didn't really captivate me. I think it's my fault playing on the highest difficulty. Ghost of Yote captures my interest quite a bit more though. Very cool. Uh, this overall was really fun. I think it was a good presentation. There's a lot of really cool games in this. Even some really exciting uh, VR games. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good night. Catch me on Twitch. Five days a week, Thursday to Monday.